first of all, the availability of data is exploded. That means that we can now have a much more personalized approach to the smart city. The second thing is we are able now to use 5G. And the advent of 5G means that more data is able to be exchanged between sensors. Now we have the entire city come alive, almost as a digital object. And the third thing now is that we are seeing data governance come in place. So where there's an explosion of data and the ability to do more with it, at the same time, we have regulations coming in. Some of the things that we're seeing is a great emphasis on the transport sector, for example. The government is collaborating very closely with the private sector. A company like Arrival is an electric vehicle company. It creates vehicles and buses, and it really got its big break through both contracts with the government in order to be able to deploy its vehicles across the city. In London, if you think about one of the big trends that is happening across the world, it is related to food security. And certainly we felt that in the pandemic. So trying to have a way to grow agriculture in cities is a very big need for the smart cities of the future. So while London is still moving towards it, I think within the next decade, it will certainly uh, be in a position where it will have some of the best known public-private partnerships and smart city investments and smart city innovation. There's a great deal of fear that increasing digitization will actually create what they call a digital divide, where some people will have access to the technology and fare a lot better, whereas others will not have it and then will be left behind. But the truth of the matter is that it can also help bridge the digital divide if deployed correctly. When the price of these technologies go down, or when AI and data analytics is able to level the competitive field by understanding and personalizing their assessment of somebody's health or risk, then everybody starts to move up the social mobility ladder. And that's really what we want. And I think that that is a huge promise of this digitization. It's, it's not a threat. It's, it's one of the promises that we can look forward to.